Hello there guys and welcome back to my channel, Corey Dawson, and today I have got a video that has been requested by about 10 people, and that might not sound like a lot, but that is a lot for me, and they said do another pop vinyl collection video. So I'm not going to do the full thing today because I've not got any more Marvel than I had before. But yeah, if you want a Marvel update or any other collection update, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications to get notified every time I upload. So yeah, if you're wondering the reason why my cheeks are a bit red and I am sweating, it is because it is currently 23 degrees in the middle of August, which is unbelievable. Uh, so yeah, that is not normal for Scotland, so yeah, and I can't have my fan on because then it'll just be loud and the audio will be crap. So I have just decided to ride it out, take the heat, my window is open, but yeah, I didn't want any of the birds chirping getting into the audio. The audio is already bad, so I don't want it even worse. As you can tell by the title, I am going to be going through my whole WWE pop vinyl collection now i didn't put a picture of the pops in my t like thumbnail because that would just ruined the whole entire video so i've decided to just put whatever the thumbnail is but i know that is that i've not made the thumbnail yet but i am not going to put my wwe pops because that would just ruined the whole surprise so yeah let's just get in into this video with the first pop I'm going to start with the newest edition, which is Edge. I got this one from Asda. It retails at about £10 in Asda, so I think it's £9.97 to be exact. But this can sell, this pop can sell for up to £11. So I take that as a win in my book, and I've saved at least a pound out of it. So that's the first pop. I'm not going to do any more cuts because that just annoys me. <laughs> um, so yeah, next I've got a weird one. It is The Rock. But it's a chase. But it didn't come with a sticker. So that's the way the pop should have been. No, that's not even the way it should have been. It is a chase and it says on the site that it's a chase. But that could just be a typo. And yeah, so the way it was meant to come was it was meant to be like a summer outfit with no glasses, but it's golden glasses and the black jacket and the bloody trousers. So it's a chase, and I didn't even realise that until like when I searched up on the Funko app and it said chase. So that's a weird one in my opinion, and... I never really have seen that in my life, but yeah, so now moving on to the next one, which is John C oh yeah, that retails at £24 by the way, I only paid £10 for it, so yeah, that one's off Zavi, and this one's off Zavi as well, this is John Cena, the OG John Cena, the good one, and yeah, so that's the back there, it's a really cool pop, and like if you look closely at the design it's got like golden word life on it that used to be his walkout music and he's got the hat on and it wobbles about which is kind of weird but yeah so this one is off Zavi I paid £10 for it and it is worth about £12 or something so nothing too major but the next one is The Miz from the Entertainer in Dundee. I got a few of my pops from the Entertainer. And here is the back if you want to see. And yeah, so I got this one from the Entertainer. It was half price, so it was meant to be a tenner. I got it for a fiver. And thank God I did get it for a fiver. Because it's only worth £9. So like, if I was paying a tenner for that. I'd be losing money. So, yeah, it's... Pop vinyls are about making your money back. You don't want to waste money. So, like, if you spend £20 on a pop, right, and it's only worth a tenner, what's the point in that? But it, if you, like, even get a pound back off of it, you're, you're still saving money. 
you're still getting your money back. Not like I'm going to sell them or anything. It's just the fact of like ma making your money's worth. And now we're going to move on to a really special one. Well, not really special, but it is a special edition. It's The Rock and Mankind. And yeah, this one's really cool. I love this one, but it is slightly damaged at the top. So both tops are a bit damaged. I paid £15 for this. Yeah, £15 from Lentor Tenor. I got The Miz and this at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is it. This is a really cool pop. Well, pops. They're, they're really cool and I love it. And they're worth about £24, so I made my money back. Which is good. Again, if you're buying a pop, you need to make sure that you are getting a good deal. Because I've had that happen to me before. Like, I can't remember what pop it was. Um, The Overwatch... No, the Finn pop. And the Overwatch pop. Uh, I paid £10 for the Overwatch and it's only worth a fiver. And the Finn, I paid £5 and it's only worth £3. So... Yeah, it's it's all about making your money back, and but if they're a cool pop, then it's fine. And this one is a Amazon exclusive. I was away to say an eBay exclusive, but I don't even think they do that. Amazon exclusive, Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. And yeah, I didn't even know Mr. T was in WWE, but he must have been if he's had a pop made of him. And this one values, uh, I paid £25 for it, and it's worth 26 So I still made my money back off of it, which is really good. And my final pop, the big one, Chase Iron Sheik. Now, this one is really good, and it's got some really good, uh, it's a really good set overall. As you can see, it's got Sasha Banks. Wait, I'll read it this way. It's easier than reading off the camera. Sasha Banks, Iron Sheik. I think that's the common one part of it as well. Bailey, Chris Jericho, and Million Dollar Man. So, oh yeah, I've got a autograph from Million Dollar Man, which I'll show at the end. And yeah, so this one I bought for £10 off of Zavi. And that is worth vaguely 25 to 30. So I made my money back on that one. And that's the only thing that I really care about is making the money back. I don't want to waste money on a pop that isn't like got value. So like I'm I'm sounding like I'm just buying them for money. I'm not, I'm just trying to like buy it so that I know that I'm making money back. So the chase I paid a tenner for and I made like £15 back. So that's £15 I've saved. So yeah, because a lot of you guys will be commenting down below like, oh, he's only collecting them so you can sell them for money. And even if I did, that wouldn't be a bad idea, but I, I would never sell them for like, nah. I couldn't sell them because they're like a part of my room now and like the setup, it's all set up, so... Yeah, if you want another look at all of them, I've got Edge, Iron Sheik, as you've just seen. The Rock, which is a chase without a stick or so. That was strange, like when I scanned in, it said chase. Uh, John Cena, which is a really cool one, I like that one. Um. And then the last singular one is The Miz. And the double pack is behind all of them now. So I need to look for them. The Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. And the Mankind and The Rock. So overall it's a really good WWE collection I'd say. And it's a good start to it. And I've been working on the collection for about three months, two months maybe, and yeah. So now on to the big reveal of the autograph that I got from Million Dollar Man. 
Uh, I didn't actually meet him, but my mum met him. It was in the Wellgate. And, yeah, it was the Wellgate, and he was signing autographs from... Sorry if I'm, like, blabbering on. It's just, it's so hot. Um, and I'm not uploaded, so I'm trying to make the video as long as I can so that it lasts a couple of days without upload. So, yeah, um, my mum actually met Million Dollar Man in the Wellgate. And I have the autograph here. So, it's in a frame and everything. So, there's a picture of Million Dollar Man. And if you look at the top corner, it says to Corey, right up in the corner. And then Teddy Biosi's autograph. So, it's a really cool, it, it, I think it was a tenor um, for it. So, yeah, it was really good. It's a way it fall now. Um... But yeah, if you like longer videos, because I know a lot of people are like, Corey, even just talk at the end of your videos about what you've done. And I'm like, if you guys want that, then that's fine. But I think this video is about 10 minutes long. So yeah, that's my longest video in a while. So if you guys enjoy longer videos, smash that like and subscribe. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully not in three weeks time. I'll try and upload maybe over the weekend sometime. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.